David. But for right now, March is Sing With Your Child Month. And this morning, we've got Carrie Youngblood, director of Heart Song Music here, to talk about the role that music can play in a child's life, in a family's life. Start off by telling us how important is it and how early should parents start? Right. It is so crucial to start as soon as your child is born. In fact, in the womb, they're hearing you sing and talk. <laughs> And you don't wait to talk to your child um, until they can talk back. You start right when they're born. Just like singing, it's another language. And mm -hmm. you want to sing at the very beginning and continue singing. The most crucial time to develop your musical skills is infancy to five-year-old. Mm -hmm. So, and you you do this on a daily basis through your business. You brought yeah. some props with you this morning. Yeah. Um, and kids come, but their parents come as well. This program is right. called Music Together. And right. briefly tell us maybe some of the things you brought and how you incorporate these into Great. your your uh, business. Yes, uh, we teach music together, and my business is called Heart Song Music. And um, we will use rhythm instruments during class, and do a lot of movement and dancing with scars. And at home, you can use pots and pans if you don't have instruments. <laughs> so I brought pots and pans and, uh, to get the, get the music going at home. It's so important to sing and dance with your child from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And in class, we have 12 children to a class, and the program's all about the adults. If the adults are singing and having a blast, making music, then the children will follow right along. So you're giving children and parents permission to actually bang pans around at home Absolutely. and just go crazy, let loose. Absolutely, it's just, and it's crucial. Americans have stopped singing in the home generally because they don't think they're good enough. And as a result, American children are two to five years behind other children in the world. So we are, it's just a big push to get the parents uh, singing in the home. They have everything they need to, to allow their children to become very strong singers. Got it. We've got a few tips this morning for ways that parents, yeah. specific ways parents can incorporate these things into their daily routine. Wonderful. Number one, turn on favorite tunes for a jam session. We've talked a little bit about this. Get yeah. the pots and pans out, get the wooden, the wooden spatulas out here, and just yeah. go crazy. Let loose. Yeah. And then number two, make up songs with your child. That, um, yeah. You know, when they're starting new activities, maybe going to camp, going to school, welcoming a new baby. My husband actually makes up songs in the kitchen. How perfect! How <laughs> wonderful! I'm giving away our secrets here. Um, number three, make up songs with your child. We talked about that. I'm sorry. On to the next one. Add a lullaby ritual into the evening routine. Yes, yes. Lullabies are so precious. It just allows you to connect at the end of the day, every day, and um, sing. No matter what happened during the day, the singing soothes the soul calms the family and uh, my daughter wanted me to sing lullabies to her till she was 12 years old so it can it can last um a lifetime really all right and you yeah. um obviously you do this every day and you help families that yes. come to you and so you're going to have some free sessions today yes. throughout the day and so that information right. it'll be on our website ways Wonderful. that people can come and check that out Wonderful. Um, in the future so thank you so much for being thank here you, this Aaron. morning thank you for having me all right we're so gonna to be here. kick it over to david now standing by with a look